Hey friends, good morning. I just got to work and I am picking up from where I last left off in last vlog. If you haven't watched it, it's my pumpkin pie recipe. You guys have to watch that one. It's so good. I'll link it in the description box below. But now the true test to see if it's good or not. We just baked a fresh big pie. We made the small ones in the last vlog. So this is just one big one. And I'm bringing it to my coworkers and we're going to see what they think. I'm going to record every single one of their reactions. So I guess this will be the true test on if or if not our homemade pumpkin pie recipe is a hit. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, that's awful. Oh, Mike, is it good? Yes, it's good. You love it? <laughs> great everything i ever hoped for all right second contender james the boss man oh you got mike on there too yeah mike was first because of course he couldn't wait to grab a piece i was a little hungry i only had a smoothie for breakfast hmm. <laughs> i spit mine out when i okay mike sense. don't say that let him get an honest reaction they spit it out and then what? Ate it half chewed out of the empty. Yeah, there? that's the emptiness. Yeah. It was awful. It was awful. <laughs> mm -hmm. What do you think? Can you tell it's homemade? Uh, yeah, because it has more spiced flavors than the store bought ones. There's like cardamom, yeah. bunch There's of stuff. There's a lot in more there. seasoning than your your basic uh, store bought ones. What about the crust? Give me an honest answer. You want an honest answer? Mm -hmm. It didn't cook all the way. Oh, damn. <laughs> That's up to Jack, though. Oh, 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 wow. We have James's wife, Sarah. She's She literally came to work to get the pumpkin pie. Mmm. I like it. You like? It tastes great. You're allowed to come to Thanksgiving. All right. I officially have an invite for Thanksgiving, guys. The pumpkin pie mm. secured it. And Burrito wants some, too. Want to taste it? <laughs> burrito, what do you think? Her name's actually Tyler, but we also call her Burrito, not to be confused. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm doing my hair. Mm-hmm. I'm preparing for your video. Oh, you look great. Thank you for an old guy, right? For are you an ready? old guy, yeah, I'm ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are testing the first ever homemade pumpkin pie. The homemade J Mark pumpkin yes, pie. Yes, I'm told that they went and got a pumpkin and cooked it, and this is all homemade. Here goes nothing. All the crumbs dropping on the floor. It's all right. This, this is delicious pumpkin pie. You were not paid to say that. No, I was not paid to say that. You'd be honest? Oh, I'll never lie about food. You like it? I love it. Yeah? Matter of fact, I'm going to get another slice right after I finish this one. I love to hear that. Thank you very much. Of course. So as you heard and saw, I think the pumpkin pie was a hit. I'm very happy about that. I love bringing food into work and baking things and just seeing everyone enjoy it. So I hope you guys were able to bake the pumpkin pie. If not, I hope it's on your list or the Hocus Pocus shots. Aside from that, I've been having a really great week at work. I've been on the sales floor a little bit more. Like you saw, um, Marissa wasn't there to try the pumpkin pie. So sad. I miss her. But she is on vacation this week. So, you know, we're a small family run jewelry store. So when someone's out you're kind of like divvying up some of their work right so if there's not enough if there's too many customers in the store and james our boss is busy then guess who's going out there me and i'm trying to sell stuff so it's been really fun getting to step in and do things a little out of my comfort zone i i guess sales for me comes pretty naturally because i'm just, I, I love chatting with people so being able to like show stuff on social media I'm, my job obviously right is to show it on social media take good pictures good videos um and get people in the store to get people get people to buy it on online and it's nice to be like face to face with these customers and really start selling and being more putting on more of the sales hat especially this holiday season i feel like i'm going to be on the sales floor a lot more um obviously still doing all of my social media stuff can't wait to do like all the fun social stuff for you know Christmas and Thanksgiving and just all of the fun holidays like the holiday spirit is so real and I love getting to showcase that on our social medias but I think there's just going to be an influx of people like with retail right everyone's trying to get presents and all that so I think I'm going to get a lot more sales experience come this holiday season so I'm excited for that what I'm also excited about is my parents are coming for Christmas they just told us that and then Jack's parents are coming this weekend so we get Jack's parents for Halloween we get my parents for Christmas and then Thanksgiving we're going to be here we're not sure if 
we're gonna go to my boss's house, like local, stay local, or go to Long Island a couple hours away, or with my aunt in the city. So we're still trying to make all of those plans, but it's nice to finally have like all these plans for the holidays and not be working them like I used to in my old job. So I just got home, I'm gonna go inside. We have a lot of new things. We just got a new kitchen table that we need to put together. And then we are also putting, hanging up some more decor in the house, getting the house ready for the in-laws. So yeah, I am gonna go start doing that, go cook some dinner and I'll check back in soon. <laughs> Di che sta esperienza dello shopping non è stata a cantarsi per i seguenti passaggi. Great job. Thank you. <laughs> so we're setting up the table and this is the instructions. Like what is that? Is that supposed to be a ghost? Like it literally looks like a ghost. Very on brand for Halloween right now. But that is our table. Can this, you? This guy, this guy's a smart fella and this guy's a fart smeller. Smart fella, fart smeller. I'd rather be a smart fella than a fart smeller. Mm -hmm. So we got this table from Walmart online. We try to get something relatively inexpensive. And this is supposed to have six chairs, a whole table, or it's four chairs, a bench, and a table oh, with some storage. They, they recommend two or more people to install, so. Yeah. I guess I'm being put to work. We really needed something with more space. Well, not necessarily space, just chairs. And I didn't want to buy two chairs on like Facebook Marketplace or something that like didn't match because I, I got this whole set on Facebook Marketplace in Cincinnati and I love it. Like if I had two more chairs, we'd be golden, but we it don't. Says, if you're in the market for a table. Yeah, if you're in the Hudson Valley area and you want to buy our table, we're putting it back on to Facebook Marketplace. This poor table has been like the revolving Facebook Market table because I think the person I got it from also got it from Facebook Marketplace, if I'm remembering correctly. But what's funny, I copy pasted this person's description in Cincinnati and stored it as a note in my phone. And we put that on for our post for selling this same table. We showed the same dings that were showed to us. I don't think we like messed it up or anything since when we, we've had it for like less than a year. So we're trying to be resourceful and well, one, we don't need this, but we can disassemble it and put it in our shed outside. So that really won't be an issue in terms of space. And then um, we're gonna put this new one up, which I'm very excited about because we're gonna have a lot more seating arrangements. We had my aunt come visit us um, last weekend. She stayed that she stayed one night because she had a wedding in the area and she got out late. She was like, oh, can I crash over? I was like, yeah, for sure. And she was like, Jenna, you need to get a table with more chairs. Like we're all like, because she was with her friend. So it was Jack and I, and then her and her friend. And we were like taking turns sitting down at the table and yeah, it just doesn't work if we have anyone over. This table works perfect for just Jack and I, but... Well, we'll see. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the table we currently have, Jack. Oh. Um, so, yeah, we. I just wanted to buy something relatively inexpensive. This whole table that we're about to put up costs less than $300, including shipping and everything, and it came in like two days. So, we'll see. I've never bought furniture from Walmart, so I don't know if it'll be good. It actually only had 3.5 stars, but... I was like, you know what? We're just going to try. We're going to go for it. And I hope this works out for us. So we finished the table. It took us a little bit, but I think it works. It is giving just a little bit of folding table vibes, but what do you want for a table that sits six for less than $300, right? So I like it. I put this decor on it. It has some pumpkins, this white little thingy that my mom got me forever and a half ago. Um, I feel like it'd be really easy to keep clean. Maybe I'll toy with doing a tablecloth. We'll see, but for now, I like that it adds extra space. I like that it's not a bar height table. That's what our old table used to be, and it was kind of getting annoying. I think this is just gonna be much more practical, especially for a cheaper price point, because um, we really don't wanna buy like great furniture until we buy a house and you know all that kind of stuff, because you really do have to buy furniture for like the space you're living in, at least that's what I feel. And I just didn't wanna go all out and buy something for a place that we're renting. So yeah, here's what we got. I think it works, I'm happy about it. I think it'll be perfect when we host people. First people to come see it will be Jack's parents. They're coming tomorrow. So 
it'll be a fun weekend and at least we can fit everyone on the table um whether it be family visiting or friends visiting or even just like friends coming over for a beer or so whatever we're gonna have the space for it i'm also trying to figure out if i should keep the bench on this side which would be closest to the door or if i should swap it and put the bench there and put the two chairs on this side i kind of like it this way because then it keeps all of this entryway open and I mean, it's still far, far enough where it won't slam into the cabinets or anything. Like no one's gonna pull their chair out that far. So I think this is the way I'm leaning, but let me know what you guys think. Should I move the bench on that side or you think we're good? Hello, it's been a minute since I've checked in. Probably like the whole weekend I haven't vlogged. We've had such a busy weekend, a fun weekend we had. My in-laws in town, Jack's parents. Mm -hmm. Oakley is <laughs> currently having a ball um we did a lot we spent some time outside on our patio just hanging out with oakley and having all of her temper tantrums jack cooked some steak dinner we made um what, what you made um aperol spritz mm -hmm. we went to our favorite restaurant in brooklyn this was tonight um it was the restaurant where we celebrated our engagement it's called patricia's there's a bunch of locations i think there's like 15 or something locations but the best ones in brooklyn um we're a little biased obviously because we got engaged we went there and this is the place where you take your little ta hand towel hand napkin and you throw it in the air when you're celebrating something and it's such a ball so it's awesome getting to show jack's parents out we ate our hearts out and we have so many leftovers jack's favorite italian i've said it before on the vlog but since you know, meeting Jenna, really re-meeting her and being a part of her family. I've not had any bad Italian food mm. since then. So, uh, but we love Patrizia's, Patrizia's and they're super nice people and so sweet. they just keep the food coming. So, uh, you know, no yeah. complaints for me. I kind of went into the night <laughs> with the intention of sweating by the end of the meal so i feel like my cheeks look swollen right now like just my whole face because we just ate so much and 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 they bring some pastries and they had these like nutella crepes crepes they were so good oh my goodness mm -hmm. wait is that our water boiling it's about to we're making tea we're having nighttime tea we drove back from the city mm -hmm. always scary and an adventure driving out of new york city the desserts were nutella crepes two different types of tiramisu i don't know what the other one was it tastes like a rum flavor or something and then there was like the uh cordial cherries but it was like an ice cream so it was like mm. chocolate coated neapolitan ice cream with a cherry in the middle and there was one more one there a little cheesecake a little cheesecake homemade cheesecake i don't i i just picked one and the I, one I, go get the tea I didn't pick one. okay I just picked one. I didn't have all of them. I just had like the crepes. They were hot. They had that sugar powder on top of it. And it was just like ooey gooey Nutella. Guys, it was so good. I had two of them. But I also didn't eat all the food that they brought out because a lot of it was seafood. And I am such a sorry excuse for an Italian girl. I do not like seafood. I haven't eaten it since I was like a little girl. And I think it's really more so the smell for me. It's just not... It's just not a thing. It's my one flaw, Jack says I have. He's over there making our tea, so I'm just going to say that's my only flaw because otherwise, perfect. I'm just kidding, but um, yeah. Don't eat the seafood, so they brought a lot of food out, and I did not eat a bunch of it, but the pasta I ate, the steak I ate, the burrata I ate. I ate a lot, but it was all in good fun. It was really good. And it was just very sweet having Jack's parents here for the weekend. This is the first time, this is their first time they got to see the apartment. They got to stay in our guest room. They spent quite some loving time with their grand doggy, Oakley. She's always a hoot. Jack is back playing tug of war, tug of sock with Oakley. This is my favorite thing they do. Look how cute this is. <laughs> Oakley's favorite toy is a sock. I buy her so many toys and she only wants socks specifically the ones we use and then jack decides to play it back on her is that sock clean tell me it's clean <laughs> it's dirty <laughs> ew <laughs> oh. no way it's a dirty sock in your mouth she throws them to me i don't get to choose what socks she, <laughs> she threw she literally threw that one at me with her snout and said come on let's go 
Come on, let's go. That's what she said to you? Mm-hmm. We got her groomed last week. I think you guys saw on the wall. Oh my God, look at how cute this is. Look at how cute. Back to Jack's parents visiting. Um, I was really excited for them because they got to see Jack perform on Saturday. So he gets to play for like prior to the army football games and i'm so sad i still haven't gotten i haven't gotten to see him yet in action but i will be there for his winter concert which he is the cover photo of the holiday poster my Mm -hmm. little poster child they're branding him we'd love to see it he's the drummer and then katie's also in the picture too you guys have seen katie on the vlog but how is having your parents there it was really nice it was good that they got to see your view that's a pretty uh big part of our job in the Hellcats and in the West Point band. Explain what review is. So review is just short for pass and review. So pass and review is something ceremonial that you do in the military. It's literally a ceremonial review of the cadets. It's like whenever you're in a parade, you have the reviewing party. Those are the people that are sitting at the, what's called the bandstand and every band passes them in the review. So the pass and review happens in parades as well. Um, especially in the Northeast, there's always a reviewing party. So the Hellcats have to play there, and his parents mm-hmm. got to see him live in action playing. So that was very sweet. I know it made their weekend doing that. I wish I could have gone, but What's significant? I was working. Sorry, something else. So like, if you're familiar with SEC football or most college football, they have the Walk of Champions, or at Southern Miss, it was the Eagle Walk. Um, you know, the, everyone has their walk before the game, or the team walks through some traditional part of campus. So that is the equivalent. At West Point, they have this very military formal review where they present arms to the superintendent, who happens to be a three star general or a guest of honor, or, you know, what have you. So it's a very prestigious thing but it's their i guess version of their pregame. but also while jack's parents were here his dad fixed so many things in our apartment like not nothing wrong specifically with the apartment but like with our furniture like i i, I posted on my instagram story probably about a month or so ago about how our coffee table only had three legs because we broke one his dad fixed it in a second then i have this bench in front of my bed and the lever or whatever was broken his dad fixed that what else did your dad fix here i mean Pretty he did the what? Creaky door, squeaky door. We had a squeaky door? Yeah, that one right there. We did? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. He fixed that? Mm-hmm. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you for fixing that. So it's been very nice. We've gotten a lot of house things done. We had a lot of good quality time with his parents. Jack, stop. You're making me shake the camera when you're playing She's with her. She's to play. But my arm is holding this. Are you done? No? Yeah. This is... The current. Okay, we're on the vlog. Oakley, don't you know we're vlogging? Does not care. Hey friends, good morning. It's Tuesday. I meant to hop on here yesterday and show y'all everything we are meal prepping for the week because I feel like lately I have just been struggling with what the heck to pack for meals. So I think we got a good one this week. Jack and I really thought it out and we were like, what can we do? Because we're really trying to test ourselves in not going out to eat. We want to just cook everything at home, utilize everything we're buying for the week. So this is day one of that. So here's what we got going on this week for dinners. We have white chicken chili in the crock pot. It looks and smells amazing. We let this cook overnight and Jack shredded it this morning before he left to work and I am gonna put it away. And then we're gonna add some bonza elbows um, to add as the carb for that. And then for lunch, this is so fun. I'm so excited because we're testing out these new um, grilled chickens from Sam's Club. We got them. I think there's like five or six of them. We paid 10 bucks and it eliminates all the work. It's already grilled, it's seasoned, it looks amazing, smells great. The nutrition facts look awesome. So that's going with my favorite salad in the world. We put a little bit of romaine, cucumbers, tomatoes, red onion, chickpeas, and then I'm gonna squeeze on a lemon. And I have a little bit, this is remainders from her jello shots we made last week. And so we're trying to use these. So we decided to put our olive oil in there so it doesn't get all gross and nasty by the time we eat it. And then we're gonna top it with some feta. I got the fat free one. And then I, again, will just squeeze that lemon, add salt and pepper at work. And then for a snack, I have an Oikos with some raspberries. These taste amazing. 
And then I might throw like some pretzels or something in there, but that's lunch and dinner. And then for breakfast this week, it's an English muffin with a little bit of cream cheese, two slices of turkey bacon, and then you fry an egg and put it on top. This one came out really awful. Guys, I am not the egg connoisseur. Jack is definitely that. He's at work, but that is the best breakfast Sammy you'll ever eat in the morning. If there's one thing you're gonna try from my meal prep recipes this week, it's this breakfast sandwich. It's so good. And it doesn't take that long to make in the morning. So if you have a busy morning, this is really fast, attainable. You can grab it, you can go, you can put it in the car, eat it on the way. Yum. Okay, make this. Okay, it's actually insane how dark it's getting post-work. I mean, it's not exactly after work for me. I did run a couple errands, took a phone call, now I'm getting home, but I wanted to end this vlog in the car real quick and it's like pitch black. Thank goodness I have my little light over here. But anyways, thanks so much for being here, watching, subscribing, all of the above. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll have another vlog for y'all next Wednesday and I will see you guys then. Bye.